Just after 3 a.m. in the morning on December 12th, a telescope in Northern Ireland captured something that almost no one was supposed to see. A sudden flash of light erupted on the dark side of the moon and vanished in less than a second. What makes this extraordinary isn't just what happened, but the fact that someone was watching at the exact moment it occurred. Most lunar impacts are discovered hours or even days later when software flags a suspicious pixel in recorded footage. This one was different. A doctoral student saw it happen live in real time, and what scientists are now piecing together reveals something fascinating about the invisible dangers constantly bombarding our closest neighbor in space. If you want to stay updated on discoveries like this, hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss what's coming next. The event took place at exactly 3.09 UTC, recorded by the Armai Robotic Telescope at the Arma Observatory and Planetarium. Andrew Marshall Lee, a final year PhD student, was monitoring the live feed when his screen suddenly lit up with that sharp white flash. Now, catching something like this isn't easy. The moon is massive, these flashes last a fraction of a second, and they're incredibly rare. To put this in perspective, this is the first confirmed lunar impact flash ever recorded from Ireland, and only the second documented from anywhere in the British Isles. That alone makes this a significant moment in space observation. But here's what made this impact visible in the first place. The timing was perfect. The moon was near its new phase, meaning most of the side-facing Earth was completely dark. That darkness is absolutely crucial. On the sunlit portion of the moon, impacts like this happen all the time, but they're completely invisible from Earth because the reflected sunlight drowns them out. You could have a collision releasing massive energy, and from our perspective, it would look like nothing at all. But in darkness, even a tiny burst of light stands out instantly. What's even more remarkable is what caused that flash. The object responsible was incredibly small, likely only a few centimeters across, something you could literally hold in your hand. Yet this tiny rock was moving at approximately 21 miles per second. At that velocity, size becomes almost irrelevant. What matters is speed. When something slams into the lunar surface at tens of miles per second, all that kinetic energy gets released at once, converted into heat and light in a fraction of a second. That's what produced the flash visible from hundreds of thousands of miles away. Based on careful analysis of the telescope's orientation and frame-by-frame -frame review, astronomers believe the impact occurred just northeast of the Langrenus crater, a prominent feature on the Moon's near side. Pinpointing an exact location from Earth takes time because researchers have to account for viewing geometry, timing accuracy, and subtle instrumental effects. But narrowing it down that precisely is genuinely impressive. Now here's where this gets interesting. The timing of this impact lines up almost perfectly with the Gemini meteor shower, one of the most active and reliable meteor showers of the year. Every December, Earth passes through a dense stream of debris and we see those bright shooting stars as grains of rock burn up in our atmosphere. Most people have seen them during a clear winter night, but Earth isn't alone in crossing that stream. The moon passes through it too. The difference is the moon has no atmosphere to burn up these particles. They hit the surface directly. The Geminides are unusual because they don't come from a typical icy comet. Instead, they're linked to a rocky object called 3200 Phaethon, which behaves more like an asteroid. When it swings close to the sun, it sheds material, and over time that debris spreads out along its orbit. The preliminary estimates put this impact speed at around 21 miles per second, which matches typical Gemini velocities almost perfectly. While scientists can't prove beyond doubt that this object came from the Gemini stream, the timing and speed make it the leading explanation. In other words, this flash on the moon may have been caused by the same debris responsible for the shooting stars people were watching from Earth that same week. Events like this are far more important than they might seem at first glance. The moon has no atmosphere, which means nothing burns up and nothing slows down. Every object, no matter how small, hits the surface directly. That makes the moon a perfect natural laboratory for studying impacts. By measuring how bright the flash was and how long it lasted, scientists can estimate how much energy was released, and from that, infer the size and speed of the object. Individually, one impact doesn't tell us much. But when you collect data from many of these events over time, patterns start to emerge. Scientists can refine models of how many small objects are moving through near-Earth space, how fast they're traveling, and how often they collide with planetary bodies. 
This is information that's surprisingly hard to obtain any other way. There's also a practical reason to care about this. Humanity is preparing to return to the moon, not just for brief visits, but for long-term activity. Habitats, instruments, power systems, and communication equipment will all sit exposed on the lunar surface. Even small impacts over time can pose real risks. Understanding how often they occur and with what energies is essential for designing protection that actually works. This observation also shows how much lunar monitoring has improved. Robotic telescopes, fast cameras, and automated detection systems are making it possible to catch these flashes more frequently, and sometimes even in real time. What used to be a once-in-a-career observation may become far more routine in the years ahead. In some cases, high-resolution lunar spacecraft can even image fresh impact sites, revealing new craters formed by observed flashes. That brief flash on December 12th was a real-time glimpse into an invisible process that never stops. The moon is still being shaped, still being struck, still recording the passage of debris through our corner of the solar system. As monitoring continues to improve, moments like this will shift from rare surprises to valuable data points. And each one brings us a little closer to understanding the dynamic environment we live in, even when it looks calm and unchanged from the ground. The next time you look up at the moon, remember, it's taking hits we can't see, protecting us in ways we're only beginning to understand. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, drop a comment below telling me what you think about this discovery, and share this with someone who loves space as much as you do.